Alright, I want to show you what a slab looks like after it's it's been poured. This is a slab of a townhouse, townhome. Like the one over here. And I want to kind of just kind of go through what what a slab after it's been poured. Uh, you got your penetrations, your plumbing penetrations coming through this the slab. It's gonna be a water closet, probably kitchen sink. You, know, you got other other penetrations. You got straps, metal straps here. And the bottom plate is gonna go right right here. They're gonna bend that down and nail these straps. These straps are embedded in the concrete right before or they are installed a place in the concrete. And like I said, your bottom plate is gonna go there. They're gonna bend that strap over and nail that to your your bottom plate they should be every every six feet and within 12 inches of the end so that one is within 12 inches of the end of a sill plate or bottom plate this is this area here is probably the garage area this is your your UFA ground here where your electrical system will be grounded it's embedded in the concrete as well so this is kind of what it looks like after this is a uh, probably conduit or electrical maybe a low voltage but this is what a slab looks like of a townhome right before it it gets framed up And this is what it looks like before the pouring of, of concrete. This is a townhome. Well, it will be like the one over there. And this is what the slab prep looks like. That's the that's the garage there. You got your vapor barrier, six mil vapor barrier, you got your wire mesh, and the area is framed around. That's, that will be your, your garage right there. And in some jurisdictions, or in some areas, depending on the soil type, gravel is required up on the, the garage floors. And in this particular case, it's not. I'm going to have to check the, the soil reports on that one, but he didn't ever elevate the wire mesh you should have elevated the wire mesh and sealed around the penetrations so these these plumbing and wiring penetrations you got to get your tape and go through and seal around those all these penetrations are required to be be sealed around you got to go back and seal those seal those up but this is what it looks like right before they come right before the concrete truck comes and pours the concrete